all right in today's video we'll be talking about we'll be solving questions applying the laws of indices so matua one one remember we are still talking about indices so indices and we'll be solving some questions in indices so the first question i'm going to we're going to look at is um the first question number one is i have nine raised to power minus one over two times 81 raised to power uh three over four all over nine raised to power one over two okay now since this is a nine and this is a nine okay or let me reduce everybody remember our method we reduce so if i reduce nine this is three divide i have three three divide i have one so i'm dividing with three how many are they they are two in number don't throw away this one here i'll put all raised power what? minus one over two times 81 this is 81 3 divide 27 3 divide and so on so i am dividing with three and they are four in number don't throw away this one you put all raised power what? three over four then everybody over what three again raised to power two bracket what one over two i have reduced everybody so let me cancel out this time this this can cancel this this time this this can cancel this okay this time this this can cancel this so the answer i have finally is what three raised to power minus one times three raised to power three all over what three raised to power one now remember the laws of indices that said if the base are the same thing i can just take one three if i have times what do i do i will add but if i have divide what do i do i will subtract so i have minus one that is here plus this three then because of this divide minus this one so my final answer becomes three is power what uh minus one minus one is minus two minus two plus three is just one and three is power one is what three you see as simple as that so number two question we are going to solve is two raised to power minus three okay times 16 raised to power Two, 3 over 4 times 2 raised to power 0. Okay, so we know that uh, 2 raised to power 0 is 1, but let's just apply the laws of indices like the law of multiplication. I don't want to apply the law of 2 raised to power 0 being 1. So I have 2 raised to power minus 3 times, let me reduce this one to be what? 2 raised to power 3 over 4. Sorry, sorry. 2 raised to power 4. Then put in your 3 over 4, something like this okay then times 2 raised to the power 0 so what do we have now uh sorry 2 raised to the power 4 not 2 raised to the power 2 sorry 2 raised to the power 4 yes please if you have forgotten do it this way 16 2 that's why you don't need to think about just bring it out 8 2 4 2 2 2 1 i'm dividing with 2 and they are 4 in number don't forget that this can cancel this when they multiply so i have 2 raised to the power minus 3 times 2 raised to the power 3 remaining here times 2 raised to the power 0. So what do we do? Let's apply the law. If the base are the same thing, what do you do? Bring out one of the twos, do your addition because of the multiplication. Minus 3 plus 3 plus 0. So what do you have now? This will give you 2 raised to the power 0 because minus 3 plus 3 is 0 plus 0 is 0. And remember that 2 raised to the power 0 is what? 1. So my answer becomes what? 1. As simple as that. So the, the third question we are going to solve. The third question. Please, if I'm too fast, you can re uh, rewind the video or pause the video to write something down. Number three, I have um I have they said which which of the following which of the following is equal is equal to uh, 72 over 49 and the option said option a said 2 raised to the power 2 times 3 raised to the power 3 times 7 raised to the power minus 2 okay option b said 2 raised to the power 3 times 3 raised to the power 2 times 7 raised to the power minus 2 okay option b said uh, 2 raised to the power, option C rather, option C said 2 raised to the power 3 times 3 raised to the power 3 times um, 
seven raised to power two. Then option D said two raised to power three times three raised to power three times seven raised to power minus two. Okay, so let us solve this question. It's a very simple question. So what do you remember what I always tell you to reduce it? 72 divided by 49. So let me reduce 72. 72, 2 divided half 36. 2 divided half what? 18. 2 divided half what? 9. 3 divided half what? 3. 3 divided half what? 1. So this is what? When I'm dividing with 2, I put down 2. How many are they? They are 3 in number. Times. When I'm dividing with 3, I have 3. How many are they? They are 2 in number. All over. Let me reduce 49. 49, 7 divided half 7. 7 divided half 1. So this is 7 raised to power 2. But I told you something that if you want to bring this man up, what happened to the power? It will, be, it will become minus. So my answer is what? 2 raised to power 3 times 3 raised to power 2 times 7 raised to power Because it is now up, it will now be minus what? Minus 2. So the answer is uh, option B. Option B is the answer. As simple as that. So let's solve the next question. Okay. The next question. The next question said, if I have um, 9 raised to power 2x all over, 9 raised to power 3x is equal to 3. The answer we should find x. So what do you do? Let's first of all apply this law that said, since I have division, 9 raised to power 2x, the base are the same thing, minus 3x. They say is equal to 3. So this minus this, I have what? 9 raised to power minus x. Why? Because 2x minus 3x is minus x. Is equal to 3. Now let me reduce this one to 3, which is 3 raised to power what? 2. Then bracket what? Minus x is equal to what? 3. So what do we have? 3 raised to power, this time this will give you minus 2x is equal to what? 3 raised to power 1. Anything raised to power 1 is the same thing. So what do I have? 3 can cancel 3. Therefore, I have that minus 2x is equal to 1. Okay, therefore, what do I have? Divide everybody by minus 2. So I have what? Finally, my answer becomes um, minus 2x over minus 2 is equal to 1 over minus 2. This take care of this x becomes what we don't leave minus at the denominator plus minus is minus so my answer is now one minus one over two is my answer as simple as that so the next question we are going to solve we'll solve so many questions so that you will understand uh indices very well now number what now this is number four so we are at number five number five said if I have 4 raised to power x minus 1 over 2, like this, this is power, is equal to what? 2 raised to power x squared, like this. So what do we do here? Okay, let's reduce this one first. If I reduce this one first, I have 2 raised to power, oh uh, no, I will not use this. I will not give you this question. Okay, 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 let's continue. This is 2 raised to power 2. Then bracket x minus 1 over 2, okay, is equal to what? 2 raised to power x squared. This taking care of this, I will have the what? This time this I have um, 2 bracket x minus 1 over 2 is equal to x squared. So this time this I have what? 2x. This time this I have what? 2 can cancel this, I have minus 1 is equal to x squared. So what do I do? Collect like terms to have, let everybody move here to have x squared, this one moving, I have what? Minus 2x. This one moving, I have what? Minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is a, a quadratic equation we can factorize. I will still teach you how to factorize quadratic equation. So let me use this method. x here, x here, and I have minus 1 here. And um, Oh, so this is plus, not minus. This is plus and minus 1 here. So if I say this times this, the way it is, sorry, this time this is this, and this time this is this. So let's check if it's correct. To check if it is correct, you do it the same way, this. This time this will give you minus x. This time this will still give you minus x. Minus x minus x will give you the one in the middle, 
minus 2x. So it is correct. Since it is correct, therefore, therefore, our final answer becomes, our final answer becomes, this is to check. Our final answer is taking these two and these two, which is what? x minus 1 and x minus 1 is equal to this 0. So what do I have now? x minus 1 is 0 or x minus 1 is 0. So collect like them to have x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 1. So we write it as x is equal to 1 twice. So that is the answer. So but if you don't understand factorization method of quadratic equation, don't worry. I will still teach you guys that. So the next question we are going to solve uh, question number question number six question number six question number six said if I have three raised to three what three x is power minus two is equal to four over twenty seven so we should find find x okay now first of all I want to remove this minus let me remove this minus first which is what 3 over x squared. Do you remember? The reason the minus came in is because the thing was up. So to bring it down, the minus will disappear. It's equal to 4 over 27. I can just cross multiply. If I cross multiply, I'll have this time this, you have 4x squared. This time this, I have what? Uh, this time this will give you 81. So let me divide everybody by 4. Divide by 4. To have 4x squared over 4 is equal to 81 over 4. So this cancel this to have that x squared is equal to 81 over 4. Now when square crosses to the, to the other side, it becomes square root. But I don't want to use that. Let's continue using indices form, which is x squared is equal to... If I reduce this one by, by 9, I have 9 squared. If I reduce this one by 2, I have 2 squared. So since they have 2 in common... Since they have two in common, please permit me to finish it up here. I have x squared is equal to 9 over 2. All square. See that square can take care of square. Therefore, x is equal to what? 9 over 2. So, and that is the answer. The next question we are going to solve. I told you we solve so many questions in indices so that you get used to indices. So, the next... Sorry. So the next question I'm going to solve here, let me not break my phone. The next question I'm going to solve is um, number seven. Question number seven that says 16 raised to power three over four. Okay, minus, oh, minus eight raised to power one over three, all over mm, two raised to power two times three. Now, there is a problem here, minus. There is no law of minus. Please don't say because I have minus, I will not divide. Because if you have divide, you minus. Please, it doesn't work that way. But there is something we can do. Let us work everybody according to the way it is. Let me work this person out. If I work this person out, I have what? 2 raised to power 4. All raised to power 3 over 4. Minus. Reduce this one. 2 raised to power 3. All raised to power what? 1 over 3. All over... 2 raised to power 2 times 3. So what do we have now? We now have that this can cancel this. 4 can cancel 4 to have 2 raised to power 3 here minus. This is 2 raised to power 1 here. Okay? This is 2 raised to power 1 here because 3 can cancel 3 all over. 2 raised to power 4 times 3. Okay? So let me, let me just get the answer of everybody. 2 raised to power this is 8 minus. 2 raised to power this is 2 all over 2 raised to power sorry 2 raised to power 2 here 2 raised to power 2 here is 4 times what 3 so my answer becomes this minus this is just 6 and this time this is just 12 if you reduce it you have 1 over 2 as your answer 6 divide itself 1 6 divide 12 you have 2 and 1 over 2 is the answer for number 7 then number 8 number 8 Number eight. Number eight says, sorry, let me pause the video and refill my marker. 